ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ <laughs> no but you have to i think we to you have to you have to admit them i think no there are some people waiting yeah yeah our people are ready to admit them but uh, because of some apan kele na admit them na yeah uh madhavra sir actually we have only 100 uh, capacity i know i know and uh, rest of people will join on uh, our uh, no, this is not you have not bought webinar uh, आता कोणाला ऍडमिट नाही करू बरं का पंच्याण्णव झाले खाली नाईन्टी सिक्स नाईन्टी सिक्स नाव नाईन्टी सेव्हन नाव बाय बाब नीड टू मेक शुअर दॅट फ्रॉम युनिव्हर्सिटी कॅन जॉईन आय मीन इफ यू हिट हंड्रेड नाव दे वॉन्ट बी एबल टू जॉईन Yeah, that's why we are uh, keeping 10 seats for us. Okay. But Thank already you. 90, 90. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are keeping Madhara, sir. Yeah. We are no, doing... They had already joined. How can you keep 100? How can you keep 10? Yeah, technical person will do. He is doing. Because 95 participants, 96 are already there. Okay, I am still waiting for one minute. But I don't have to remove it. Yeah. See, you have bought a webinar, you see. This is not the... Anyway. Yeah, we were, we were hoping for it to be a webinar format. Yeah, a webinar format. Right. They, they don't know how to do it. So. Ninety-seven are entered. So in the meeting, only eighty-seven are there. Eighty-eight, yeah. They are not admitted. Okay, that's okay. Hey, Bob. Can I can I just check? You'll be running the program. You'll be doing the MC, right? Yes. ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ only co-host can do it so it is request to co-host don't admit to others
काय रे कमी नाही होते हंड्रेड होऊन गेले क्या नो इन मीटिंग ओनली एटी फोर आर देअर अदर स्टार्ट आर एडमिटेड देर ऑल वन या आय नो नो लॉरेन इज जॉइन आय कॅन सी दॅट कॅथरीन लॉरेन इज जॉइन देन जीम इज विथ अस नो हे माय माइकल वेस्टर इज देअर यस एडमिट हिम नो मायकल वेसेल आणि जिम ला हे कर ना पोस्ट ओके केलं का त्यांना अँड जिम जिम ला पण कर नाव जिम अँड मायकल बिकम अ को होस्ट So yeah. nobody, nobody will remove to them right now. <laughs> okay. What about Sanjeev? Is there? Where is Professor Sonao? Sir is there. Sir is already in. Yeah, Michael. Good, good. all 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 uh, melbourne people have joined yeah ashok is not there it's also live on youtube okay good yeah why not हॅलो वैभव येस सर कॅन यू स्टार्ट ऑर एव्हरीबडी चेक विथ प्रोफेसर सोनाव ने Yeah, I'm not sure you are there. Uh, very above, very above. Uh, Professor Ashok is trying to join, but uh, he's getting a notification that it's already full. It's already full? No. Can you please admit uh, Ashok? So all this is full. You remove somebody and... Uh, so Ravina, uh, uh, why bow? I don't know. Uh, Hello? Yes, he, now uh, Professor Sonavani is also there. No, Ashok has not been able to join because it's already full, it says. That's what he said, no? No, already Ashok, Ashok, Ashok. Not Avinash, Ashok. from america hey. from melbourne yes sir wait one minute one minute jaga nahi thi udhar apne meeting has reached to the maximum number sir ashok sir is not in waiting also not in waiting room also i think he under is war na he cannot wait he cannot join no no at least he, he can be in the waiting room na 
No, once it is hundred, he cannot even enter. He no, no, sir. But he can be in the waiting room. Then no, we can add him. No, you're not there. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, he is now. Ah, yeah, join now. Admit, admit, admit. I'm admitting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. Huh? Yeah, done. yeah. Ashok is joined. Ashok, I think I joined, right? Yes, sir. Ashok, uh, Ashok, Muthupadi and Ashok. Yeah, he joined. He joined. I. He joined and he is now co-host, so he is also in. Okay. So all the delegates from the University of Melbourne in. Okay. So we can start now. Yes, sir. We are waiting only for Ashok, sir. Now, yes, Ashok, sir, is with us. Where is Professor Sora on it? Sir, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Can we start now? Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. I think uh, why we should start, I think. Yeah. Or somebody you said somebody else else would do the anchoring, no? Yeah, whoa, 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 it's going to. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, sir. Uh, with the permission of higher authority, we can start right now. Good good afternoon to all the delegates from the University of Melbourne, Australia, and good morning to all the delegates from the Savitri Bhai Pule Pune University. And all the participants, those being here with us uh, today with us on virtually. I welcome to all the delegates on the behalf of uh, Savitri Bhai Pule Pune University for the today's one day international workshop on early child, uh, early childhood care and education jointly organized by the Savitri Bhai Pule Pune University and University of Melbourne. Now I request to Professor B.S.M. Rao for welcome and opening remarks. Opening remarks. Before it, I would like to introduce him. <coughs> B.S.M. Rao is a professor and retired from the chemistry of department and from the Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. And Professor Madhav Rao is a physical chemist and work as a fully uh, faculty in the department of chemistry. And he served in near about 35 years. He established an active group in the radiation and nuclear chemistry with 25 graduating with PhD under his supervision. He had an international collaboration at the Mark Planck Institute, Germany, Brookhaven Laboratory with the USA and National Laboratory in Delhi. He was awarded an Alexander Own Humble Board Fellowship and the Best Teacher Award from the UGC. And right now he is very actively in the uh, uh, in ICSSR, which is established in Pune. So I request to Professor Madhavrao make a uh, welcome note. Madhavrao, sir, please. Thank you, Vaibhav, very much. I'm very happy to be associated with this uh, one-day mini uh, simple workshop. Uh, basically, why I'm here is uh, I have been um, associated with the collaboration from Melbourne for the last seven years. The origin of this uh, particular collaboration with the School of Education Melbourne uh, has got, it has to do with the, uh, about, it, uh, it dates back to about seven years, 2014, when a small delegation from University of Melbourne visited Pune to start a innovative teaching program at undergraduate level. Normally we have uh, collaborations at the master's and PhD and research level, but at undergraduate teaching, I think is very unique. So what uh, they came up with an idea, a very, very innovative idea, uh, I used to start a BSc uh, blender. I mean, the name is given as blended. I used to teach all the four basic sciences at the undergraduate level for the first two years. There is the chemistry, physics, mathematics, and biology, and then do the third year as one of the one of the subjects in the major. So this is a very innovative idea. 
And at that time, I was associated with uh, one new institute, Institute of Science, uh, Indian Institute of Science Education and Research, after my retirement from Pune University. And the Pune University at that time uh, readily agreed to start it in uh, a college, in a small college, a pilot project. And I think uh, thanks to the efforts of the Melbourne team, uh, led by Ashok and Andrew and Alex and all these three uh, very, very committed people, we have come to a stage where this program has become popular and is gaining importance you know, among the students who want to pursue higher uh, education, higher studies abroad or here. And uh, this is now in about six, seven centers, not only in Pune. Initially, it started in a college, then it was expanded to the campus, Pune University campus, two, three years back. And now the third year batch is coming out from the Pune University campus. So why this program succeeded is because of its innovativeness. So now I find similar uh, situation with the School of Education from Melbourne. The early childhood education is not much, you know, sort of uh, promoted in India so far. But due to the new uh, national education policy, which emphasizes a lot on the school, primary school education, it has got, it has come at the right time. And it was a very, very unique program. I, mean, I must thank uh, Mary and, you know, these, these people, Lorraine and all. Uh, we have come with this uh, uh, come, for, come to Pune University to collaborate because I find two things unique with Melbourne faculty. One is they're very committed because we, have a com we need a committed faculty to have a very uh, active collaboration because there are so many collaborative MOUs, Memorandum of Understanding, but they're only on paper. But I see in, uh, because in my association with uh, Pune University, several uh, several such understandings, memorandum or side, but they're only on paper, many of them. But I see this uh, it's a very dynamic uh, collaborative program with Melbourne, and it has been going on very successfully. And when Ashok and um, uh, Kailesh approached me for this uh, education collaboration, I found I find a very unique uniqueness in this particular program. And I'm sure it will definitely succeed. Like our blended BSc, I see another opportunity for Pune University to take uh, in a, you know, to take initiative and go ahead with this. And with these few words, I thank you very much again and wish all the participants a very nice, uh, you know, very fruitful discussions in today's workshop. Thank you very much. No, 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 mute, you are muted. Thank you, sir. Because of your efforts, uh, today we are here for the first international workshop with the University of Melbourne. Uh, now, uh, uh, you know, there is the, uh, this collaboration behind their number of people's work here. So for the brief uh, introduction about this academy, which is already established in Savitri Vaipuli, Pune University, University of Melbourne Academy. And he is coordinating, it's coordinating by the Professor Avinash Kumbar, sir. Before uh, <coughs> calling to him, I would like to introduce him that Avinash Kumbar, sir, is organic chemistry and is currently head of the department uh, chemistry and also working head in a interdisciplinary school of sciences in Savitri Bhai Pune University. He worked as visiting scientist at university in USA and Germany also. He received several awards, including the bronze medal of chemical research society of India and the best teacher award from the Savitri Bhai Pune University. Now he is a coordinating of the BSc blend pro program, which is already mentioned by the uh, Mother of Sir, and now he is a coordinator of University of Melbourne Academy at Pune University. So I request to Professor Kumbar Sir, brief about this academy. Kumbar Sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Vaibhav, and uh, good afternoon to all the delegates from uh, Melbourne, Australia, and good morning to all colleagues, participants from uh, Pune and uh, India. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be associated with this uh, workshop. Uh, which is uh, being organized by the Department of Education. Uh, as Vaibhav mentioned, uh, the University of Melbourne uh, Academy, uh, the uh, MOU of which was signed uh, uh, some time back, was actually signed after the initiation of the BSc Blended Program, after the success and expansion of the BSc Blended Program to a few, a few colleges. And as Professor Rao mentioned, uh, we have we are already expanding to various other universities and colleges at SPPU. The University of Melbourne Academy, uh, SPPU Academy, is a collaborative venture between two universities, which have a very similar DNA. 
they are a traditional university but a progressive university as per the national education policy our university has had envisaged several interdisciplinary programs collaborative programs with universities and obviously the university of melbourne because of the bsc blended program was going on was the first that we approached for this academy and they readily agreed and took the initiative and we signed the mou very recently this is an example of transnational education which i think is going to be the norm of the future two universities and countries will come together for training of their graduates post graduates to undertake training research and other activities to encounter the problems that we are going to face in the future the main aim of this academy is to identify opportunities for so called blended teaching learning in india also to submit joint proposals for research student mobility and faculty mobility is a very important aspect of this academy and also to provide scholarships to the students from both melbourne as well as australia to visit each other and understand cultures training in their respective universities as per the national education policy we are also going to expand this to joint and dual degrees and i'm sure uh, professor ashok from the university of melbourne is pioneering that effort from the university of melbourne side and now with the department of education which has now been a part of this uh, academy uh, which with this workshop i'm sure this will expand further as professor rao mentioned the bsc blended program has been expanded to geetam university vellore institute sv university tirupati in addition to several colleges in savitri bai phule pune university we have also expanded this to the ba liberal arts program which we started jointly with the bsc blended program and in fact we have another workshop uh, in next month and several of our students are participating in that now the department of education is also a part of this and once the department of education comes in the forefront i think this is going to expand uh, very much and also very recently the department of technology is also being involved in several aspects of such a collaboration so I, it's glad that this bsc blended or this academy is going to function and work together for the expansion of this transnational education and i am sure this workshop today is going to be uh, is going to be the fort of this uh, program and we are going to expand to future further colleges in maharashtra thank you very much and good luck for the workshop thank you sir thank you for your uh, blessing to us and we are hoping that you are the coordinator of uh, umo uh, university of melbourne academy and we are soon part of this uh, academy also thank you sir thank you very much now i uh, request to professor uh, michael wesley who is a deputy vice chancellor international in university of melbourne he is briefing to us about this entire collaboration with savitri bai phule pune university before it i would like to introduce him to to the all the participants <clears throat> professor wesley has extensive experience in international strategies and relation and has worked in the higher education of australian government with the private sector also he has published on australian foreign policy asian international relation and strategic affair and the politics of state building intervention previously professor wesley was a professor in international affair and dean of the college of asia and the pacific at at the australian national university at work as a director of coral bell school of asian pacific affairs at anu and as work executive director in the lorry institute of international policy he has a phd in international relation from the university of st andrews so i request to uh, professor michael wesley who is a uh, uh, briefing to about briefing to us about the collaboration with savitri bai phule pune university uh, professor michael wesley thank you balba um and uh, thanks to to lorraine for the invitation i acknowledge that the university's parkville campus sits on the lands of the wurundjeri people 
who have been custodians of this land for over 40,000 years. I acknowledge and pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Professor Nitin Karmanka, SPPU VC. Professor Avinash Kumba, SPPU. Uh, Professor Jim Waddiston, Dean, MGSE. Professor Sanjeev Sonawane, SPPU. And many other colleagues from Pune and Melbourne, welcome and thank you for your participation. Our engagement with SPPU began in 2014 when the BSC Blended Program was in development. The SPPU VC and other colleagues were very welcoming and cooperative when we approached them with this proposal. The program was launched in 2016 when Professor, Professor Margaret Scheel, former provost, visited SPPU. I would also like to acknowledge the modern college Shivaji Nagar, who were the first to implement the BSc blended with biology major. The first cohort of students completed in 2019 and received their certificates from Professor Duncan Maskell, our VC, when he visited India to launch our Indian engagement five-year plan. Since then, SPPU is offering the BSc blended program on their university campus. And currently we have about eight institutions offering this program across South India. Today's event reflects further strengthening of our engagement with SPPU. I understand several meetings were held over the past six months or so to discuss the development of joint teaching programs involving MGSE and SPPU. I am pleased to note that we have now established the University of Melbourne Academy for Blended Learning and Teaching SPPU chapter, and an MOU has been signed recently to launch this chapter. This will allow us to expand our joint teaching programs under India's new national education policy. I would like to acknowledge the strong support from Professor Nitin Karamalka. On behalf of the University of Melbourne, I thank him, Professor, Professor Avinash and other colleagues who continue to support our partnership. SPPU is one of the oldest universities established just after India's independence and well known for establishing global linkages and collaborative programs with highly reputed international academic institutions. They are also pioneers in developing new learning technologies and for piloting and successfully implementing new educational programs. We are proud to be partnering with SPPU for de developing and delivering innovative teaching and learning programs in India. I understand Professor Karamalka and his colleagues visited Melbourne in late 2018. I am hoping to visit SPPU campus in the first half of 2022 and to personally meet you and your colleagues. Good luck with the workshop and thank you very much. Thank you, Professor uh, Michael Wesley, for your uh, supportive words for the future collaboration. <clears throat> Now I request to uh, Professor Sanjay Sonanesar, who is a Dean Faculty of Interdisciplinary Studies, who is a briefing about this one day international workshop on early, child, early childhood care, edu care and education. Before it, I would like to introduce him to all our uh, participants. This is a very golden thing that uh, today Professor Sonan is joining here and he started his career as a school teacher. And today we here are gathered for the early childhood care education. And he started his edu education uh, teaching in the school level. Now we can say that he is a teacher of KG to PG. He completed his master in physical education, master in education, master in educational sciences, master in communication sciences, and completed doctorate from the University uh, of Mumbai University. Now he is heading dean in. Pune University and Director of School of Education, Director of Human Resource Development Center, which is known as uh, you know, Academy Staff College, UGC. 
he published uh, several paper in oh, international oh, national oh, journals I, I, i think yeah one thing which time. is uh, very important which i note here ठीक है बटन चालू कर रहे हैं ये लास्ट कनेक्टेड आई थिंक लाइट लाइट या बेबी कैन स्टार्ट हेलो या यू आर फाइन या 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 वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड गुड आफ्टरनून हु आर कनेक्टेड हियर प्रोफेसर वेल्सली अशोक जी कैलाश माधवराव सर अवर कुंभार सर and uh, catherine kailash and other uh, uh, colleagues from melbourne university and our teachers from the from the, uh, uh, from, uh, the, the scrt teachers and teacher educators from sppu and uh, some are from the maharashtra so uh, this workshop is a very golden opportunity i think the history in indian and early childhood education madhuro sir and kailash sir i want to aware you that within a one day there are 500 registrations only 100 are are joined now with our this zoom meeting and and 400 are on the and the youtube youtube connected for this purpose so it indicate that how the teacher community is needed to know about what is going on actually in new education policy and for that purpose how to implement the new education policy that they want a new knowledge innovative knowledge which i think the the uh, the melbourne university they are having and and jointly we are preparing a very uh, international standard program at early childhood education so this workshop plays a very important role and uh, this the purpose of this the awareness program about the early childhood education which the jointly sppu and melbourne university is going to going to create the new course and which will be implemented at uh, in the in the indian context that is the very important thing which we are the, the professor wetsley had rightly said that the, we are continuously talking about how to develop this program which will be very relevant in the indian classroom where actually the uh, the it will be uh, very suitable and the teacher will be happy to develop the, uh, the develop the new generation at the initial stage uh, in uh, 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 early childhood education so uh, so this workshop from this workshop we will identify a very enthusiastic who are really interested in child early childhood education the teachers and teacher educators and and then again they will be they will be act as a, a faculty or resource person as the indian context because in maharashtra we will we will consider this but one thing um, I, i want to share with you when i talk unofficially with my my colleagues from dhaka university i shared with this experience they are excited i talk with the nepalian kathmandu university uh, uh, regarding our own collaborations going on so they say they are also excited they said that why not we will join it i said that yes you are also welcome in a due course they will join uh, with this brief introduction uh, our purpose is that you know, at least 25 resource person who are too much interested will be identified and they will be they will be again trained as a resource person for this purpose why i am saying that because here the indian context teachers they will be not compatible with the english so they will convert all this translate all this knowledge into a, into a marathi and 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 the same content will be delivered here with the help of this 25 resource persons through this uh, through this awareness program and workshop they will come out so this is the purpose our vice chancellor is parallelly attached uh, connected with the another program but 11:30 he is going to join us at the uh, end of the program and uh, he will bless us regarding that also i want to convey with you with this brief introduction i am i am ending my uh, uh, my words and wishing that i am again joining uh, again uh, connecting with you for a nep and early childhood in indian context to interact with thank you webo for giving opportunity and patience listening
बोलो कोई बात बोल लेते हैं ना आह थैंक यू सर thank you very much uh, to beeping about this workshop and the history behind all behind this workshop and this program now uh, jim professor jim uh, patterson is with us and he will i request to him he will give he is giving to us now right now the introductory remark before uh, this introductory remark i just beeping about his uh, <coughs> cv that he is enterprise professor and dean in the melbourne graduate school of education from his first job as a teacher in a rural indigenous classroom in his home state of western australia of his of his appointment as dean of melbourne graduate school of education at the university of melbourne and professor g matterson brings more than 39 years of successfully experience across the diverse range of educational roles and sector he spent his first 10 years in the profession as a teacher before being promoted to the position of principal in range of primary and secondary school then he progressed to the role of regional director in uh, victoria before he was appointed as the deputy secretary of the victorian education department he was a director general both the act and the most recently queensland department of education and training it's a really great pleasure to us that professor jim with us and i would like to sorry uh, sonone sir but again i would like to compare here professor sonone and professor jim started his career as a teacher and today's the workshop is only for the primary teacher and secondary teacher so i request to professor jim to his uh, introductory remark professor jim thank you very much for that warm um introduction and warm welcome and it's um fantastic to be here as part of this collaboration can i start by acknowledging vice chancellor professor uh, kamalka and colleagues from sitrovai pule pune university and the university of melbourne distinguished guests and participants it gives me great pleasure to say a few words on behalf of the melbourne graduate school at the launch of this workshop on early childhood education and care as educator and researcher carla renaldi reminds us the child is not a citizen of the future she is a citizen from the very first moment of life and also the most important citizen because she represents and brings the possible the image of the child as a citizen of the now capable and contributing to the local and global community is the foundation of early childhood studies at the Melbourne Graduate School of Education this image informs the early childhood research teaching learning advocacy and activism happening in the graduate school and is being used and applied throughout australia and internationally This conception of the child is what underpins the collaboration between the Melbourne Graduate School of Education and SPPU in creating this early childhood professional program in alignment with the government of India's national education policy of 2020. These are exciting times for India as this is the first time early childhood has been included as part of the national education policy. As India reaches for the overarching goal of ensuring universal access to high quality education early childhood education and care across the country our, coll our collaborative program is proud to be contributing to the success of this national goal by creating teachers who understand the field of early childhood and use pedagogies that are more experiential holistic integrated inquiry driven discovery oriented learner centered discussion based flexible and of course enjoyable led by Dr Jean Marie Arayo and Dr Catherine Hayam two internationally known early childhood researchers and educators the program will offer you the opportunity to find the connections between the early childhood practices and your own communities it will empower you to think with children families and communities as you create learning opportunities that further all children as capable and contributing citizens for now I am delighted to see the hard work of both SPPU and MGSE have put in over the past months to come to fruition despite the current circumstances and impacting on all of us. I wish you all the best and hopefully we will meet in person in the not so distant future and thank you again for this opportunity to be here.
yes sir thank you thank you sir thank you professor jim uh, uh, now we have here uh, waiting for the professor nitin karmakar sir was already uh, uh, stated by the professor sonavne that he is quite busy in another meeting so i request to professor sonavne sir we this is the first session of this workshop we have a two session in this uh, uh, workshop the first session is regarding the early childhood care and education and national education policy 2020 which is discussing by the professor sonavne sir and the second session which is uh, uh, led by the dr jean mary rio and dr catherine ham from melbourne graduate school of education university of melbourne so we have a two major session in this workshop and then we will have uh, some question answering from youtube and from this group also so right now i request to professor sonavne sir who is uh, enlightening us on ecc and nep 2020 sir can you share can yes sir can can you see my hey. ppt yeah is it visible right now to all the participants oh, oh, oh. yes so thank you i will i will uh, brief with you not only in detail the new education policy but how the teachers and and school teacher education and school the provision the new education policy is there which is just now just now released by the government of india and accepted it after 34 years of gap we have a new education policy the what was the previous policy previous policy was giving guarantee only education from 6 year to 14 year child and now this policy is talking about the 3 year to 18 years now the now we have here the uh, the challenge before the nation is that how to teach the child from age group of 3 to 6 so that that thing is there and that's why we are we are uh, we are in collaboration with melbourne university especially the uh, the what the policy is vision about this everybody know those who are here lots of programs are there it is on the uh, and net also so i will not lot uh, i will not throw uh, waste time on that but the at the end uh, only we can say that the knowledgeable society uh, preparation is the expectation from this policy and then the in the skills values and disposition that support the responsible commitment to the human right sustainable development living and global well being thereby reflecting as a truly global citizenship just professor jim had lightly uh, touched to it uh, the, uh, who who are the childs and what actually in the global as a global citizenship how we have to develop a child and from the early stages how we can take care of regarding this just now i said that the uh, the universal access uh, uh, the uh, uh, access to the early childhood it was not actually government was not taking voluntary some people has as a uh, the nursery schools and uh, uh, kindergarten schools at a uh, indian education system but it was not a policy of uh, indian education system but now this policy is firmly saying that the for children from 6 to 6 years access to free safe and high quality early care and child education at the anganwadi preschools and balwatika and this is the actually focus of our workshop today and and jointly program development of a, a, a how what type of teachers will be needed to here to take care of the child from 3 to 6 years which it actually the expecting this policy that the 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 the, the joyful education safe and high quality education to be to be delivered at here so what will how will be the classrooms of this what will be the role of the teachers and how the how the teacher will take care what are the expectations there and that is more important in the next few slides there are interesting things here the the what actually the stages are expecting here the early childhood care education that's the uh, the the fundamental stage what the stage is seeing this stage is seeing actually the 3 years 
are anganwadi preschools balawatika ages from 3 to 3 to 6 year it will be part of a, a national education system now and which is says that this is the fundamental stage which will be of a five years and then this this distributed among three and two years at the at the fundamental stage and these three years will be at the anganwadi preschools and then class one and two at the age of six to eight these two years will be also included in the fundamental stage. What are the expectations from these fundamental stages that are more important here to understood it and to fulfill that and, and, and to realize these expectations actually uh, we need a teacher education, uh, teacher education to be modified, to be, uh, to be redesigned according to the needs of the new education policy of the teacher's role at the fundamental stage. And that fundamental stage actually in the in the in the three years three to six years that uh, the 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 multi level that means the 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 class will be class will be uh, from uh, these three years two year uh, three years boy uh, uh, children four year children uh, fifth year children and then it will be classified into class one and class two and play activity based learning. Frankly speaking, there is no till there is, there are only trial and error methods and traditional way, our Anganwadis and, and KG and PG teachers, there are some, some, some specified curriculum, but what it was not a, 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 a very, a very scientifically based or, uh, or we can say that research based curricula uh, to be adapted here, just now the practices. It is very traditionally, I, I cannot say it is unscientific, but it is as per as basically on the experiences of the senior teachers or are the uh, are the are the uh, who are the officers in the government they had designed it but no one university had come into the force uh, entered into this to prepare a curricula for fundamental stage to prepare teachers and and how the brain child uh, brain of the child is developed at this stage and what type of care should be taken at that level and how the joyful education would be at the fundamental stage classrooms because at the class at the initial stage we have a 60 percent population in the villages in the rural areas in india and they have a agriculture based family background and they are not too much happy with uh, entering into the class uh, school uh, school system they have their own own to help their children uh, uh, the uh, the younger children then uh, support to mother or the girl child and then father, uh, boy child has to uh, support to the father and all these things. So at this stage, how they will be happily come to the school and they will know that the, the, the activities in the schools are very joyful and interesting so that they should take demand to their parents that I should be at the school and not at the home to support you and and uh, and involved in the family activity so that is the challenge before the indian education system how the early childhood cares will be at the school and then it is not only that if the play play based activities and learning system is there and and, and there is a challenge before the the teachers are there how to design instructions at the at the at the uh, fundamental stage which will be playful and and different different activities which will give joy to them to uh, to be to be in school that means first job is that how to bring them at the school and how they will be happily join there because safe and secured a classroom is the base of a fundamental set so they should be there they feel that we are at home we are very safe here and we are enjoying our early stage learning. And that for that purpose, we are looking toward the Melbourne University, what type of experiment they had done at the in the Australia, how I can share with you. We, I was doing some research with the Melbourne Monash University. At that time, I visited Melbourne, then I visited around 10 schools there. And that atmosphere, I was dreaming at that time when we will have a this type of system at India. And I think that 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 stage has come, that time has come with the support of the government's new education policy. We are joining hand to hand with the uh, uh, with Melbourne University, and 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 
and we will have a very precise, very needy, which the, really our teachers will go. In the preparatory stage, uh, again, the play-based, uh, uh, what are the play-based pedagogies, how to teach the literacy with the play, how to teach numbers with the play, how, how we have a letters with the play and discovery method, which will be enhance the curiosity of the, uh, of the child at the early childhood level. And activity-based and interactive classroom learning, uh, that's, the, that's the thing. That type of pedagogy you, at the early childhood, we have a very expert here from the Melbourne University. They are really supporting us to design the program. And then from you uh, who are participated here, they will be really, uh, really aware about it. And then that curriculum will be totally train you and educated you how to teach in Indian content with the local language or regional language regional language so that it will be successfully implemented implemented there. So the lots of things are there to be considered in the new education policy. See the computational thing, then uh, the uh, thinking, the uh, how the, uh, the coding and middle stage to prepare them at the early childhood means what actually, what we are expecting here uh, here in the in uh, at these stages so uh, the uh, the the we are uh, we are actually expecting here that the 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 sensors of a, a child how to develop and for that purpose how teacher our teacher will design the activity for that sensory gardens activity to have a five sensors to sharpen their sensors uh, so that they can uh, really had a difference between how to see, how to watch, how to look, how to observe at the early, the early childhood stage, so that their sensors will be automatically utilized at a higher level, at a school level or a undergraduate level. That that uh, acquisition of a knowledge uh, uh, they will do, they, they will acquire there. Once they do, do not know the difference between hearing and listening at the basic skills, how they will be developed at a higher level, uh, high, higher level when they will go up, 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 upward their career. So for that purpose, this curricula designing is very important and preparing teacher to teach at that capability, that is also challenge in front of us. And that's, I think, uh, this workshop uh, is lighting, um, enlightening um, to our teachers who are, I'm appealing to all the participants, the teachers and teacher educators that truly understood this, the purpose of this workshop is very different. See, we have a challenge before the Indian education system that how the fundamental teach, fundamental stage of the child will be very strong, strength, and what are expected, expected there, how interestingly and employfully and joyfully we will teach there, teach there, and how to prepare a teacher for this stage is the challenge challenge just now. There is no any system exists today. And for that purpose, we are we uh, we are taking efforts here. And these efforts, I think, will be a will be a one of the efforts, one of the uh, great uh, great contribution to prepare teachers at a fundamental level, which will take care of the Indian education system at the three to six level. And which will be very research-based, which will be very, we can say that the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the scientific base and, and, and which we needed at that level. So uh, this new education policy actually passing on this this is the new introduction in the new education policy. There are so many things. And one thing is very, uh, very interesting that we have now four year teacher education program. Yes, I, I'm going to share with you. This is the four year beard integrated program. And this integrated program will take care uh, now. Now, just now we have a two year beard program after, after graduate. And after 12, that is being by gymnasia, we have a, we have a elementary teacher and primary teacher preparation program. We call it a diploma in teacher education. And which, which and there is no any system uh, today exist for the early childhood care education. Only few universities had tried, like a Tata Institute of Social Sciences. They had prepared a one course, one course for the early childhood care education. 
but only this the we have a thousand universities in india india now but no one university is only uh, another one efforts is uh, the the uh, the ajim premji university they had also introduced this type of uh, this type of program what working with a, any reputed university like a melbourne university and saitri bai phule pune university is coming together to have a this type of program so uh, the uh, the next stage this diploma we will develop but our pro efforts will be the next stage will be the four year integrated integrated after 12 there will be exclusively early childhood care education program which is nct preparing i am a, i am national council for teacher education is preparing i am a part of that that is why i am sharing with you and that will help this melbourne university and pune university uh, collaboration to have a entries that that national curriculum of a four year beard to be a uh, four year early childhood care education program Uh, which will be a example for the nation so with this a brief what what actually the new education policy is saying and early childhood education what are the expectations in this policy and uh, regarding that i talk with this and how the melbourne university and sptu university is uh, joining hand to fill up this gap of preparing teachers for the fundamental stage or early childhood care education so we well, thank you for giving me opportunity Uh, to have a, a, a very short introduction i will not spend too much time i am also eager to listen the 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 professors from uh, 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 melbourne university so thank you for giving me opportunity thank you sir thank you uh, thank you very much to enlighten us regarding the national education policy 2020 with early childhood care education because these are the very important aspect uh, in the point of view primary teacher and secondary teachers and uh, today uh, big number from this sector so that will be uh, really uh, useful to them now we have the second session which we are eagerly waiting uh, uh, catherine and jane because uh, all the people those are join here from the from the savitri bai phule pune university and from the various schools from maharashtra state we have one big region and we have here near about 500 plus teachers join on a youtube i received some questions also uh, number of questions not some question number of question to jean and catherine and uh, then we will have a discussion also on a, on a question answer session before uh, uh, before inviting to them i would like to introduce uh, one by one now i uh, dr jean mary orio who is a senior lecturer in melbourne graduate school of education it's a great that uh, she completed her doctorate at teacher college columbia university and her masters from harvard university usa prior to her move to australia she worked as an associate professor at the university of hawaii west ohu her research teaching writing focuses on discrediting and rethinking accepted educational practices in the area of early childhood and higher education this work includes rethinking quality as meaning making children's relation with place more than human and materials pedagogical documentation and research method and pedagogies orienting from the municipal infant toddler centers preschool in uh, in emilia italy her research project which is very known as out and about with dr kathin ham from the university of melbourne uh, there, there is a big achievement on his credit uh, that's uh, that's why it is a great pleasure that we uh, see is with us and uh, uh, i welcome to professor dr nitin karmakar sir vice chancellor from savitri bai phule pune university uh, he joined uh, right now with us uh, welcome on the behalf of school of education uh, and melbourne graduate school of education sir uh, i uh, uh, i mi thoda se 5 minute ni jaina 5 minute ni sir tumcha ek remark dila tar 10 minute samor lok ahet ti 
पंद्रह मिनट में जॉइन हो चुके हैं चलें सर चलें यस सर यस सर थैंक यू सर यू के डी लेक्चर विल स्टार्ट नाउ प्रोसेस कर्मा कर हेलो यस सर डी लेक्चर विल स्टार्ट इट विल टेक अबाउट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स सो यू कैन जॉइन एट दैट टाइम या या आफ्टर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी we can we can we can join so our yes our... yes yes so it is a great to us that uh, we are eager to listen to jean uh, one thing i would like to mention about uh, the professor jean mario mary he in his uh, in her credit uh, he awarded outstanding book award society of professor of education in 2016 disrupting early childhood education research imagine imagining new possibilities 2016 making meaning in early childhood research pedagogical pedagogies and personal in 2018 outstanding book award honorable mention in 2020 society of professor of education her co-authored text with professor clifton tenby higher education and the practice of hope in 2019 which is focuses on rethinking higher education behind the current New liberal context. She co-edits with Professor Cliff Thorn Tenby the book series "Rethinking Higher Education," which is published by the Springer, which is outstanding uh, publisher in the world. Dr. Jean is co-edit of Qualities Research Journal with Associate Professor of Mark Vikas. So uh, it's a great achievement on her credit and really. Uh, we are lucky we are uh, and eager to listen you jin and i request to jin also now the second speaker with the jin here is dr catherine ham dr catherine ham is a senior lecturer in the early childhood academic group at melbourne graduate school of education she completed her grad her undergraduate early childhood degree at the university of melbourne her master degree from the monash university he returned to the university of melbourne to the complete her doctorate specializing in early childhood education prior to moving into the higher education teaching catherine spent 10 years working with an early childhood teacher in the range of range of setting including the university of melbourne demonstration early childhood center catherine's teachings and research interests focus on teacher educator professional learning innovative pedagogies and children's relation with the place this interest work to respectfully foreground local indigenous perspective in early childhood education catherine has involved in a range of research project that engages with critical perspective of early childhood philosophies pedagogy and curriculum catherine participate in both local and international research is a member of common world research collective her research project out and about with the jin it's a great that both are here about this uh, group so uh, uh, really we are very eager to listen you and i request both of you please uh, enlighten with us this early childhood care educa- care and education so our all the teacher those are working in various primary schools in maharashtra the big range in maharashtra So I request both of you, please enlighten with us. Allah Muskil. Now you are host. You can share your screen, please. Hi everyone. So I'm going to start the presentation. All right. Um, so I just like to start by um, welcoming the Vice Chancellor, Professor Professor Carmichael, colleagues from SPPU and the University of Melbourne, distinguished guests and participants. Welcome to the Early Childhood Professional Program portion of this workshop. We're both very excited to be here. For some reason, my slides are not moving. <laughs> Can you see the slides? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes. Ah, here we go. Um, 
Uh, we had that great introduction, um, just so you know that I'm Dr. G. Marie Iorio, and my colleague is with me here today, Dr. Catherine Hamm. Say hi, Catherine. Hello, everybody. Nice to be here with you today. And we'd like to first start about how this program came to be and, and what were the um, what informed the program as we developed it with SPPU. So this program has grown from many collaborative um, meetings between the Melbourne Graduate School of Education and SPPU. We've considered the National Education Policy 2020 and the goals for early childhood articulated in the policy, as well as the current international research and practices in the field of early childhood. Bringing together these four elements has contributed to creating a professional program that is responsive to your context and includes cutting edge research and theory informing early childhood teaching and learning practices. The professional program is taught over six months. It's delivered online and it's asynchronous. So that means that you can access the content for each module when it suits you um, and your situation if you're working, for example. As you can see from the slide, two subjects are taught at a time. The first two are delivered in months one to three and the second are delivered in months four to six. Each subject addresses the early childhood components articulated in the NEP and there are four modules for each subject. Okay, we're going to share with you um, a little bit about each subject and you can see at the bottom of the slide that we're indicating what NEP areas are addressed through each of these subjects. So an early childhood one includes content focused on child development, how to create curriculum and assessments, building partnerships with families and communities, and understanding how the environment, a classroom, an outdoor space, a community, work as another teacher with you in the early childhood setting. Early childhood two has a focus on the arts, including understanding how children and teachers are artists, engaging the environment as a way of creating, playing with shadow and light, and how art is part of the of everyday learning and living. Early Childhood 3 includes content on literacies, including digital and multimodal literacies. It also includes thinking about literacy, including the stories and histories that are part of your communities. Early Childhood 4 focuses um, on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, for young children, with an emphasis on teaching practices based in play. As part of this subject, you will consider STEM in your daily encounters in your community. Okay, so what we'd like to do now is, um, we'd like to show you an example of what this would look like in the online environment. So I'm going to bring you into our learning management system, the LMS, which is called Canvas. And this is what we'll use as part of the professional program. Um, and so today I'm gonna to show you part of a module from the everyday mathematics section, which would be in early childhood four. Just gotta move my share. All right, so when you come into the Canvas system, it looks like this. It has a, um, a, a side that has uh, all the information of the different, can you see that or is it, there you go. Um, that has all the different sections that are within the, the learning management system. This specifically would be something that's around um, uh, early childhood four. And what I'm gonna do is you'll see that there's, um, at the top of, the, of this page, there is a video and all of our subjects include videos and the videos are done by international experts in the field. And so today I'm gonna to share um, a video done by Professor Nicola Yelland, who's um, an international expert on numeracy and mathematics. 
And what she's going to talk about here is I'm just showing you a small part of this is she's going to talk about beginning processes and talking specifically about um, attributes when we think about um, numeracy and mathematics and how that informs the language in which we use. And, you know, I'm, I've said in here, an attribute is a particular characteristic or feature that helps identify a person, animal, place, or any object. Um, so again, to go back to the sort of storybook idea, you, you've got a, a, a very traditional story like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You've got, you know, Daddy Bear who's big, Mummy Bear who's in the middle, and, and Baby Bear who's, who's tiny. So you've got, you know, you, you, you use that type of, of language. You can um, ask children to describe um, their teddy. You can ask them to describe a truck. Um, but you know, you can also think about describing um, things in terms of the other senses as well. Um, like, the, you know, a, a lemon tastes sour. Or, um, you know, again, you can ask them to describe a piece of music, Jason. You know, what does it make you feel like? Does it make you feel happy or sad? Um, so it's a feature of something. So it's very important to be able to talk about and have the language and again, this links back to the literacy. Um, to okay, so in this one video, she talks about determining attributes, matching, sorting, comparing, ordering, and um, patterning, which are all parts of mathematical beginning processes. So we have a video, but as you if, as you look below within the module, we also have um, visual images and activities that reflect the same things that are within what Nicholas says in the video. But then also you can watch the video or you can also then engage in the words and the visual images to re review those concepts or ideas that have been shared. So you can see here, it has written out what Nicola talked about as an attribute. And then it shows the example that she talked about. It gives you some big questions for you to consider as you're thinking about this specific mathematical concept. And here's the piece where she started to talk about the senses. Now in this video, she talks about several things. And again, you can click through. So now here's the section on matching, which is the second thing she speaks about. So see the video stays at the top and here's the section on matching. And there are quite strong visual images throughout so that it's not just about the words or about the video. So you can listen, you can watch, uh, you can see, and you can think through these ideas. The next section on comparing, ordering, See if you can figure out which order that they've put these birds in just by looking at the image. Next one is sorting. And so all of the, the ideas that are shared in these sections with the visuals and the words are also shared above in the video. And that's really the consistent format throughout all of the four subjects within the professional program. So it's easy to see how different ideas are brought forward in multiple ways. So there's lots of different ways that you can enter as a learner and it's all connected to your local place and community. So you'll be able to use whatever, you're lear whatever you learn within each of these modules um, and it can be applicable to the context where you are. I'm gonna go back to the presentation, hold on. So I'll, I'll just speak briefly um, about the requirements for participating and the time commitment that you'll need to consider. So in order to complete the program, you must have a minimum of a bachelor's degree. Um, and you will also need to schedule about 100 hours per subject to complete the work. So this would mean 200 hours for months one to three and 200 hours for months four to six, which would give you a total of 400 hours for the whole program. Okay, so now we're open for questions and, and different thoughts you might have or anything that you're wondering about in terms of the program.
Yes. Oh, you have some questions you can ask on behalf of the uh, um, the participants who are connected to the YouTube. They will be unable to ask, but you can access yes, it sir. and uh, ask the questions on behalf of them. Yes, so sir. they will do it. Yes, sir. Now there is one question from the participant that we uh, actually the answer may be given by the cat Jean and maybe Professor Sonan. So the question is that. Uh, in India, we have a, a diploma in uh, elementary education, and now Jean and Catherine presented about the uh, this uh, diploma about the ECC. So, what is the major difference? Because uh, we have a two-year diploma, and this program which you presented the uh, courses. So, we have a similar such, such courses in our diploma. Uh, so, what is the basic difference between this uh, diploma and this postgraduate diploma, and which diploma is run by the Maharashtra government? Catherine, uh, uh, not have exposure to the our program, yeah, which is existing now. Uh, the program uh, we have now is a for the elementary, and we are talking about the early childhood before stage of it. And that is more important. And she had rightly said that how to compare. How to how the sensors we utilized to do the activities regarding that curriculum is there, and which is expected at the early childhood to be developed. This will be a difference between the existing curricula and which is the fundamental stage, and then the another stage started after the after the five plus three plus three plus four is the we are talking about only the first five stage, and there is no any 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 diploma. Elementary stage is taking care only for the, uh, the, the, the the teaching the number and basic mathematics operations of addition, subtraction, and how to teach regarding that. So if you take a mathematics and like that later and all these things. Another thing is that the we have to we, again the 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 problem with the uh, uh, the existing curricula is that the very less opportunity to have to work with the with the child and that is only the internship program so this program will be for only those who are working in the area they have a lots of exposure uh, of a early childhood education and what is actually why the uh, we why we are not succeeded as per our expectation and if this curricula, as the gene had presented, if implemented in an Indian context, it will be a great thing for the Indian early childhood education, I think. Thank you, sir. Uh, there is one question from the our faculty. Is that is there any, uh, this question for the gene, is there any scope to integrate physical literacy in early childhood education? Can, can you say that one more time, please? Uh, one question. moment, moment, moment. Jumping, throwing, pulling, pushing. Oh, that's the okay. basic thing, dance, dance. And uh, it's only a psychomotor. Of, of course. Um, in the art subject, there would be movement. So in, in this specific um, suite of subjects, arts would be in there. In the arts, there would be movement. So it is in... It is integrated. It will be a part that that is why the play, uh, play teaching uh, different activity through play and activities are there. Surely uh, it will be. Yeah. Thank you, Jin. Another question is that how we can participate in this program, which we are talking here. Uh, that we will do announcement. Yes. SPPU and uh, uh, Belborn University will finalize the program. And that announcement will become from the SPPU uh, uh, with the understanding of Melbourne University. Uh, so uh, very soon we will declare the admission and procedure about all these things. One more, one more information for to, uh, for the participant is that uh, we have a one round of discussion with the government of Maharashtra, SCRT director, and uh, he is very positively responded at, and he said that. The, you develop the program and we will have exposure. That is why lots of the uh, diet teachers and SCRT teachers are also joined today with us. With us, And uh, if that happens there, 
So there will be great opportunity uh, joining with the government of Maharashtra, uh, the prime uh, uh, state uh, educational research and training council uh, with the with SPPU and Melbourne University for have this program for their teachers to upgrading their knowledge at the uh, at, uh, of early childhood education. Another thing is that if the government of Maharashtra at, well, in our first talking, they have they are ready to give the exposure to the uh, to the teachers to visit to the schools at Australia also. So how the things are going on, we will see in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, there is another question. What will be the pedagogical structure of these courses? Let me do that Jane. one, Jane. Yeah, Catherine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the the content for the courses um, are all online, so the asynchronous. So you will um, access the content, um, you know, in your own time. However, there will be opportunities for online discussion boards and engagement um, with with the teaching. So um, the the pedagogy won't necessarily be a, a live situation or there might be opportunities at times when that happens but essentially there'll be an opportunity to work in small groups of colleagues um, and also as I said work on the discussion boards. There's also some tools that we use within the subjects like um, we have an, um, an interactive reading tool that we use called Perusal where you read an, um, a piece and then there's questions in it and you do chats and you link to each other. And so it's a very active way of reading um, collaboratively across uh, small groups. Yeah, there are two parts that the expectations are, I think. Just now the Jean and Catherine had explained about the how the course will be delivered. That is the, the that pedagogy. But I mean, one another expectation is that how to teach uh, the, uh, or we can say that the educational sciences, uh, which will be implemented in at a at a classroom in the early childhood education, to teach mathematics, to teach play, to teach moment education, to teach uh, literacy, uh, uh, for that purpose, which pedagogy will be there? That will be a part of the curriculum. Uh, one question from the uh, online YouTube that uh, uh, the same question that when it will be launched and what kind of the fee structure that they, they are interesting in a fee structure. So what we will actually, yes, sir, sir. Uh, so, uh, so fee structure will be affordable. Uh, we will declare, I think this program, we are very enthusiastic to uh, introduce from the January session. Uh, January session itself, uh, as per our schedule, if the things are going on very well. Uh, the, the fee structure, yet we haven't decided, but uh, it will be affordable to the teachers so that so many teachers will participate there. So that we are talking with, we haven't calculated it, designed it, but it will be no loss, no profit. It will be not at, at ASPP level, ASPP level. But we will talk to Kailesh and Ashokji and Jean, Catherine and uh, Melbourne University. But we haven't any, any decided regarding this. At a due course, we will declare it. Yeah, the, another question is that, is it a blended degree or uh, given by the Saidrave Pulipun University and uh, Melbourne University? That, is yes, it, a blended? it will be, it, it will be, a, it, it will be, we will, uh, uh, we will, uh, the nitty gritty we will finalize, but our primary understanding is that it will be a uh, blended, uh, as per the blended BSCBN, this diploma will be a, our Melbourne University Academy and, and School of Education, uh, like that. So it, it will be a joint, it will be a joint, surely it will yeah. be a joint. But the, 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 the details we will declare when the program will be, will be uh, uh, will be available for admissions yes uh, we here we uh, professor ashok kumar uh, muthu padian is with us uh, before it uh, our vice chancellor sir uh, is with us here so uh, uh,
let ashok kumar speak first then i'll okay. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, then... ashok kumar sir actually yeah. ashok kumar sir i just introduced to about the ashok kumar sir because he uh, there is one one or two question directly to uh, as directed to related melbourne graduate school of education before giving the answer i would like to introduce professor muthu padian ashok kumar he is working assistant deputy vice, vice chancellor international india Man, works with yeah. works with the dvc to pun at the meeting jale ke aple ke din hai ek mai mano and professor ashok kumar has responsibility to international strategies and relation with india prior to his current position professor ashok was associate dean international in the faculty of science from 2013 to 2017 During his uh, tenure, he helped to establish Melbourne India Post Graduation Program, oh. Melbourne India Post Graduation Academy, and the BSc Blended Program, uh, involving partnership institutions across the India. He has served on a number of University of uh, Melbourne's Management Committee, Academic Committee, and Scientific Advisory, Advisory Board of the External Scientific Organisation. i think uh, professor ashok kumar is the real backbone of the uh, collaboration with savitri bai phule pune university and melbourne uh, university of melbourne so i uh, i request to professor ashok kumar sir actually sir there is one question regarding the melbourne graduate school of education that what is the uh, uh, course structure and program structure of melbourne graduate school of education thank you for the introduction um, uh, professor vaibhav i think um, that question will be answered most probably by um, my colleague uh, lorraine later on because i am from a different faculty so um, either kailash or lorraine can kind of uh, explain how the faculty structure works or the programs work but um, i would like to just kind of uh, note um, as professor uh, michael wesley mentioned earlier um, you know we have been um, involved with uh, the development of various program with um, the university of pune or sppu and uh, we kind of initiated this um, uh, conversation with the university of pune in 2014 during our first visit took about 3 years for us to kind of work through the blended program and um, you know one thing that i uh, i'm really um, grateful to um, all the colleagues in in sppu in particular the previous vice chancellor and also the current vice chancellor despite they are very very busy people whenever we go with the program they listen to us and they spend quite a lot of time to encourage and and um, you know push the staff member there to to develop this program so i'm grateful for that kind of support that we are receiving uh, from from sppu and also we heard from from professor sonawani's session in terms of you know how the uh, the indian government is now pushing for this early childhood education and strengthening that that uh, uh, kind of area through the national education policy and um jean and catherine have kind of explained all the kind of joint programs that that have been developed or discussed over the past few few months or so i'm really excited that uh, we are moving into this stage where we are kind of uh, you know um providing um, basic education you know as um, mentioned as as it was mentioned earlier um, when when a child is born that child is the the future of the country so we uh, you know between um, melbourne graduate school of education and sppu for us to kind of deliver this kind of uh, program that's going to change uh, make a big change in the future in terms of uh, how the children develop and how they are going to contribute to the society and so on so i'm really excited to 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 be part of this and at this stage uh, you know being part of this um, it's not that i am the backbone of our, our engagement a number of people are involved in this program from from day one and and as uh, it was already mentioned professor madhav rao um, uh, led all this interaction at the early stages uh, with sppu but also uh, andrew drinnan who who is uh, the professor at, at that time he was the associate dean teaching and learning for science faculty he spent a lot of time in developing these things and then when um, um uh, lorraine 
and uh, and we all visited in 2019 um, to, to your campus and had some discussion. And ever since we came back, um, uh, the um, Lorraine has pushed um, her colleagues at the uh, the faculty to develop this program. Again, um, the hard work from Lorraine Kailash, Jean, and and Catherine, um, you know. Uh, it's countless, you know, the time, the amount of time they put in to develop these programs. So I'd like to thank uh, all of their contributions. And, and uh, I'm always kind of um, amazed by the enthusiasm and, 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 uh, and, and the energy the Vice Chancellor uh, ha has. And I was told that even though he's the Vice Chancellor of the SPPU, he's still, still delivering lectures to undergraduates and postgraduate students every morning. <laughs> so he is uh, he's still continuing his academic role. So I'm, I don't know how he's doing it. And the other thing, uh, thanks. Um, um, uh, the other thing that I want to mention is uh, Professor Abhinash Kum Kumbar. Again, from day one, he's very supportive, and and he is now the director of that uh, new center that they have established for interdisciplinary uh, teaching and learning. And also the uh, my my colleagues um, back here, um, you know, right from the vice chancellor to the dean level, they're all very supportive, science faculty dean, uh, uh, Melbourne Graduate School of Education dean, and so on. So, um, um, you know, I can only th thank um, everyone who, who are part of it. And I'm, I'm hoping that this program will be um, delivered in much bigger scale, not just in, in Maharashtra, but once we have done this early part of the um, launching, I would like to see this expanded to the rest of India. So, so that, um, you know, not just one state, children get benefit, but also uh, the whole of India. With that kind of few words, uh, um, again, I'd like to thank, uh, uh, you know, everyone who is part of this workshop. I'm sure, um, you know, uh, we are looking into an exciting time in the future. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Professor Ashok. <clears throat> So maybe, uh, uh, Lorraine, if you want to quickly answer that question, please, or Kailash, who it yeah. is. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, before uh, giving the answer by the Lauren, I would like to uh, give the brief introduction about the Professor Lauren Graham to all the participants those are joining here on virtually. Uh, Professor Lauren Graham has been Associate uh, Dean with the Melbourne Graduate School of Education since 2019. Her work led to the effective teaching of the students with learning difficulties, intervention research, sustainable learning, inclusive education practice, strategies instruction, and comprehension process. She has authored more than 19 published and Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, yeah, I, 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 I request to our sir, uh, he's a quite busy, but sir. I would like to give only two lines about uh, Professor Kramakar, sir. He is the scientist in the... No, 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 no need to no <laughs> Okay, so please, sir, enlighten us with your advice. No, in fact, it just I'm, I'm just chipping in because there's, there's another meeting scheduled at 11.30 uh, yeah. Indian time. And then that's actually with the British Council. So I'm so happy that to receive, uh, to see Ashok Kumar after a long time, uh, rest of the people like, including Mother of sir. And I'm happy that uh, over the over more than um, almost two weeks, uh, uh, you've been discussing about the <laughs> early early child education and things like, and that has been the part of our new education policy. So I'm so happy that uh, none other than the Melbourne University actually is uh, handholding with us, and and then now uh, um, Dr. Sonane who would be actually leading it from front, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, together, perhaps uh, we would uh, create uh, a proper sort of a pedagogy and proper sort of a training program for the teachers, which to an extent will help uh, uh, to boost uh, the new education policy and the various verticals that we are concentrating on. So from that point of view, this particular topic uh, that has been discussed and deliberated for quite some time uh, by my faculty members and the faculties from Melbourne University. I'm, I'm uh, pretty sure that uh, most of the thing perhaps must have uh, must have been worked out and, and soon perhaps we would come out with a good program. So I'm, I'm my best wishes for this and anything that is required from my end, I'm always available. Thank you so very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Because of your support and blessing that we are here for the first 
uh, meeting and interaction thank uh, you professor thank lauren please yes. uh, there is one question regarding the grad uh, melbourne graduate school of education yes, indeed. and i can yes. answer that and i want to thank everyone as well so let me answer the question and just say that the melbourne graduate school of education is the top ranked uh, education faculty in australia and we are a graduate school of education so we do initial teacher education and in order for people to enter our initial teacher education degree they must have an initial degree themselves and then undertake a two years master of teaching degree to become teachers of primary secondary early childhood or early childhood and primary we also have professional and continuing education courses for those teachers who are already practicing in the field and want to come back and um, have further education in different fields or deepen their disciplinary understanding. And then also research degrees, research masters and doctoral degrees are offered by the Melbourne Graduate School of Education. So I hope that's answered the question. Like yes, that. thank you. Yes, yes. All right. And could I just say at the end of uh, many people speaking and a terrific introduction to such an exciting set of ideas, I just want to add my voice to the thanks that have been given, um, particularly to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Kamalka, and all of the education faculty. Um, colleagues, both at uh, SBPU and at MGSE. Um, Jean and Catherine have taken up this opportunity with enormous energy and they've been supported uh, as so many initiatives are amazingly by Kalesh and by Ashok, uh, our wonderful, uh, wonderful link to India through the international chancellery area. And I just want to, with my very final words, and I, I know it's been a long session, just reflect on the wonderful experience I had when I did visit SBPU campus in 2019. And we were given a campus tour. And I happened to have seen that on one of the trees in a part of your campus, there is a quote. And that quote is, education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. And this is what really excites us all about the opportunities presented by the National Education Policy to partner with you. Um, it's because the future is symbolized by our children, just as Ashok said, and their futures. And I think that we are all working to enhance the learning potential of all our young people and the futures that they can embrace as they grow up and our transnational partnership as well. So what I want to say very last is that we're excited and we'll see you in 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Now we are uh, at the end of the program here. Uh, before it uh, actually I break the schedule and I request to one of the person behind all this program that Kailesh I request to him, please uh, say a few words because uh, he is continuously connecting with the School of Education, Savitri Vepule, Pune University. So I request to him that please uh, say a few words. Um, thank, thank you, Vaibhav. Uh, I would just like to, to reiterate the, the words that Professor Graham, Professor Ashok, uh, our Dean and Professor Sonawani have said as well. We really look forward to, to this program and this is just the start. And, uh, and we look forward over the next few months uh, to really finalize the details so that as of January, that's, uh, it's a fresh start for all of us. And we make sure that um, we, we, we conduct this, this pilot very, very successfully and look forward to really scaling and extending the program across India, of course, with the help and the support of our colleagues at SPPU as well. But thank, thank you so much. And also all the different meetings that we've had during the year, all your time, and all the time that 
you all have taken to 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 discuss with us, to explore and co-create uh, the, the program as well. Thank you. Thank you, Kailish. Uh, before uh, proposing vote of thanks, I request all the participants to fill the feedback uh, form, which is already uh, already sending on a chat box and on YouTube link. So please uh, fill the feedback form. So it is uh, good for us for enriching in future also. I express my heartfelt thanks to our Professor Vice, our Vice Chancellor, Professor Nitin Karmakar, sir, who is always supporting to do the new things and with the helping nature. That's why today we are here successfully uh, completed one day uh, small workshop. I express my thanks to Professor B.S.M. Rao, who is the retired professor from Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. Because of his leading uh, vision, we are here to work with the University of Melbourne Academy. I really thanks to Professor Michael Wesley, Deputy Vice Chancellor from the University of Melbourne. I thanks to Jim Watterson, Dean, Melbourne Graduate School of Education. I thanks to Ashok Kumar, sir. I thanks to Lauren, who is uh, joined here and in light with us. I thank to uh, all the uh, speakers in the session to Dr. Jean and Catherine, because of this presentation, all my participants are more clear about this uh, program and they are very eager to when it will be launched with uh, University of Melbourne and Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. I thank all the delegates of the University of Melbourne. I thank here uh, our director on School of Education, Professor Sanjay Sonavne, sir, who is uh, taking initiative and today last, I think maybe Kailash knows that last six months we were uh, discussing on this uh, topic and with his support, today we completed here one small workshop and very soon we will announce the rest of things with our uh, university. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your support. I thank to all the HODs, uh, Professor Mega Uplane, Professor Deepak Mane, sir, Professor uh, Lokande, sir. Those are the head of the departments under the School of Education. I thank all the colleagues of School of Education and I thank all the non-teaching staff from the School of Education. I thank you, your three persons, ultimately that. Thanks to Kailash, thanks to Mahesh, and thanks to Ujwal. With their technical support, we uh, here can be able to say that successfully we completed this uh, workshop and 500 plus participants were joined and uh, Mahesh and Ujwal maintaining the connection and uh, communication with all of them. Thank you one and all. With the permission of our director, sir, can I announce? Yeah. With the permission of our higher authority, the workshop is... Uh, finish and thank you to all of you again soon we will meet next time thank you, thank you. uh yeah thank you thank you all guys okay. one minute only just uh, yeah. open the cameras all i request to all the delegates just put on put on the cameras Or one photo, please. <laughs> yes, let's. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.